welcome back to Knitting with Queer Joe. It's good to see you again. It's been a little while. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, confessions. Um, I realize that in the history of uh, blogging at Queer Joe, I've had a history of confessions. In fact, when I did a, a brief search on the QueerJoe.com website, I realized that many of the blog entries at least contain the word confession. <laughs> so I guess I do that a lot. It must come from my uh, Catholic upbringing. Um, I really do hope you've brought along a project that you can knit along with while we chat, and um, or if not, at least a beverage that you can enjoy while we sit here and talk about a few different things. Um, so today's confession is really all about um, this sense of a uh, little bit of shame that I had when it came to knitting on my current project, which is the Waterline Shawl. Um, I decided that since I had three different um, works in progress currently on the needles, that I would focus just on that one so that I could buy this by today, um, have a finished object, and so I could show you the finished Waterline Shawl. So I worked very diligently just on that project. I didn't pick up anything else, and that's all I worked on. And I was very excited. In fact, even during one of my Zoom sessions, I, I have daily Zoom sessions with a bunch of guys who knit, and um, I had picked it up during that. And I, I was working on it during that even, and I, I find myself getting often distracted when I'm amongst other people. So I, I still, I pushed through and I decided to stick with it and do only that one. Well, as it turns out, um, you can see the progress I made. Um, I was working on it last night and took a look at it and realized, oh, do you see something wrong with this photo? Yeah, look a little closer. Yeah, I've pulled out the needle. One of the things I realized when I looked down at the, this piece of work is sometime during my Zoom session, I purled like seven rows in a garter stitch garment. So this whole thing is in garter stitch, it's only knit. And for some reason I decided that like five or seven stitches were gonna be purled. I have no idea why. So, um, so my confession, and this is where it comes to the confession part, is that I really suck at dropping stitches and fixing in garter stitch. I know that sounds stupid. It seems like the easiest thing in the world to be able to do, and I'm sure most of you have that down pat, but for some reason, I have trouble. Like when I drop down a stitch to get down to the mistaken stitch and go to fix it, I have trouble deciding on whether I should be doing it from the back of the work or the front of the work, and I also have trouble distinguishing which laddered stitch is the one that's next. And it, it is just painfully difficult. So I decided that I was gonna use this as a teaching moment. And then I was gonna drop those stitches and I was going to go down, fix the stitches and ladder up the, the, the pieces in it. What I, I, I didn't do too badly. I, I actually, when I look back at it, it really kind of sucked and I probably would have had to rip back anyway, but what I realized was when I got to the top of it where I had a couple rows of um, knit two together yarn over type of eyelet rows that I had no idea how to, uh, to recreate those by kind of like laddering up a, a drop stitch. And so I realized I'm just gonna have to pull this out. And the, the sad part is that if you look closely at this thing, it's done in short row wedges. Uh, she just, the pattern designer describes it as uh, short row wedges. And so those wedges that I'm doing in terms of the uh, those pieces, some of it had to be ripped out and some of it didn't. So not, it was in the middle of a, a short row sequence of, of ever shortening rows of, uh, of knitted stitches. So anyway, I ended up ripping it back, pulling it all back together. And thank goodness, and you'll see this during current knitting, I was actually able to get it back to where it was before I had to try to fix the mistake. So I didn't finish the waterline shawl, but, uh, but I did get it back to at least where it, was, uh, where it was before I noticed the mistake in my knitting. And so my, my real uh, um, confession when it comes to this thing is that for something as simple as, as fixing a dropped garter stitch, uh, column of garter stitches, I, I suck at it. I know they have those little tools, it's kind of like a two-sided crochet hook that allows you to go back and forth, um, but 
being on the correct side of the stitch isn't always my problem. It's usually trying to discern which of the ladders, which of the cross ladders that I've dropped, um, I need to pull through the, the stitch. Um, I really should get one of those uh, uh, dual-sided crochet hooks as well to fix some of my mistakes. And maybe I'd get better at it. But I still would have had the problem in this particular case with having to rip it out anyway because I really couldn't fix those eyelets at the top of the column of stitches. And I had probably a, at least three different couplets of eyelets that I would have had to fix in addition to the uh, probably about 14 or 16 rows of uh, of garter stitch that I would have to ladder back up. Suffice it to say, um, it was a lesson learned. I, I realized that sometimes it's fun to experiment and try to learn something, uh, but in this particular case, I cut my losses and actually ripped back where I needed to and, and did all that I needed to fix it and get the Waterline Shawl Project back on, uh, on target, hopefully. And hopefully I'll be able to show you the final uh, Waterline shawl on Monday in the next blog entry. So what are your confessions? What are you, what are things that uh, you're always ashamed to admit, uh, especially as a long-term knitter, if you're one of those? Um, I can't tell you how uh, kind of embarrassing it is to realize that uh, I can't even fix garter stitch. <laughs> Stockinette stitch, I'm really good at, but garter stitch, not so much. So what are yours? Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, current knitting. So I do have three works in project, progress right now. One is a secret one, which I'm not showing on the blog at all. The other one is the waterline shawl, which is what I'm working on right now. And I'll show you some uh, uh, pictures of that. And the third one is a uh, linen stitch cowl that I've been working on, trying to see whether a certain yarn works up well in linen stitch. And it seems to. I, I don't have a progress uh, photo for that one, but I'll have. Uh, Hopefully I'll finish the waterline shawl sometime this weekend and start back to work on the linen stitch shawl as well, or cowl as well. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you. So please like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done that. And certainly feel free to leave a comment or a question because I always love inter interacting with the, the readers and the watchers of my blog. It was good to see you and hopefully you're gonna have a good weekend and I will, uh, be back to you on Monday with my progress as far as the waterline shawl goes. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon.